Welcome back. We're going to finish up uh, electrophilic aromatic substitutions in this video. So the first one we're going to look at is fertile crafts alkylation. Now, if you see this reaction, the nature of electrophile generated is dependent on what the R value is. Now, R generally refers to alkyl, means R can be CH3, R, CH3, CH2, R, CH3, CH, CH3, CH2, CH2, etc. Okay, so for the purpose of this, let's just say we had started with CH3Cl and AlCl3. Okay, the electrophile generated is CH3Cl plus AlCl3 gives you CH3 plus plus AlCl4 minus. Electrophile is usually positively charged, so CH3 plus. So what if we had started with, say, CH3, CH3, CH2, Cl, AlCl3? There's only so many things we can do, okay? That means CH3, CH2 plus is your electrophile. Okay, so basically whatever you're starting with R, just add a positive charge to it and that's your electrophile. Now, I, I am not going to show you the resonance structures. I'm only going to get started and I want you to show the resonance structures as part of your my thoughts assignment. So the electrophile reacts with, basically your, whatever your R is, you're going to add that to the ring. Okay, basically whatever your electrophile is, the only exception is the one we looked at previously, which is sulfonation. Okay, so the double bond is going to react with the carbon. So in the process, again, you can add the CH3 anywhere on the ring. So basically that gets added here. Keep in mind, we also had a hydrogen here to start with, right? So those are still here. Okay, and the positive charge is now here, right? Now, I want you to show the resonance structures based on either the halogenation reaction I shown you or the nitration one I shown you. I want you to show me your resonance structures. Show resonance structures. Okay. Now, I'm just going to get to the end chase because I'm just going to show you the product. AlCl4- now attacks this hydrogen and the bond comes back whenever bond comes back it brings a negative charge with it which neutralizes the the positive charge that leaves you with just that right so basically we've just added a ch3 to the ring if we had started with this then we would just be adding ch2 ch3 right don't add CH3, CH2 because that makes carbon five bonds, right? So basically whatever your R value is, that gets added to the ring. So if it was CH3, then CH3 gets added to the ring. If it's CH3, CH2, then CH2, CH3 gets added to the ring. Most important thing is I want you to show me the moving of resonance structures for this one, okay? I've shown you how to do that for the first one. Now that's alkylation. Acylation is very similar, okay? So again, R can be CH3, R, CH3, CH2, R, CH3, CH2, you can keep going. So for instance, let's just choose it to be CH3. Then it's CH3, COCl, and AlCl3. And in a nutshell, I can tell you what we are adding to the ring. Well, basically when these two react, CH3COCl plus AlCl3, you are going to generate CH3CO plus, and that's your electrophile, plus AlCl4 minus, okay? So basically this whole part gets added to the ring. 
Okay, this is your Electra file. Okay. So the benzene ring reacts with CH3CO plus. Okay. Again, I'm going to show you. Now keep in mind we have a hydrogens to start with. Right. And then you attach through the COCH3. Please don't make the mistake of attaching through the CH3 to the ring because the positive charge is on the carbon that's that's attached to the O, not to the CH3. Okay. So the positive charge is here. And again, as with the previous case, I want you to show me all the resonance structures, at least two, like I did for the halogenation, show resonance structures on how you would move the positive charge around and positive and the double bond around, okay? Now let's cut to the chase. Now the AlCl4 minus comes in, grabs this hydrogen, this bond comes back. When our bond comes back, it leaves you with a negative charge, which neutralizes the positive charge that's there. So basically we have our product. So as I said, all we're essentially doing is adding a COCH3 to the ring. Now say, what if you had started with this? CH3, CH2, CO, Cl, and AlCl3. All we're doing is adding this portion to the ring. That's all, right? So if this was the case, then all you have to do is, again, it doesn't matter where you add this because we're adding it to a clean, uncluttered ring. CO, CH2, CH3. That's it. And that's Friedel Crafts acylation. So, which brings us to the end of this. So let me just summarize everything that we're adding to the ring, okay? With the Br2, Fe, Br3, okay? We are adding a Br plus to the ring, right? Of course, we're, that's the electrophile, but essentially we're just adding a Br, right? The HNO3, H2SO4, we're adding an NO2 plus. Again, get rid of the plus charge, right, in the product. We're just basically adding an NO2. Again, in the CH3Cl, which is alkylation, and AlCl3, we're adding just the CH3 to the ring. If it had been CH3, CH2 plus Cl, then you add CH3, CH2 plus. Of course, we're just adding a CH3 to the ring because the, you know why, where, what happens to the positive charge. And with an acylation, if this was the case, then you're just adding a CH3 CO plus to the ring or essentially just the CH3 CO to the ring, right? Now that's the electrophile. In the product, there will be no plus charge. So basically you just have to imagine the product without it. And I don't want to write the SO3 sulfonation here because that is just kind of an off track thing. So, um, so that's all I had to say about electrophilic aromatic substitutions. And uh, I'll see you with the effect of substituents. That's an important topic. So stay tuned.